We can do this. Oh. <sighs> oh yeah. Let me start from the beginning. November 5th, 2012. I started a legendary guide. Welcome to the legendary weapons guide video. No, oh, wait. Stop, stop. To help you guys and me get a legendary or at least understand it. I, I know many of you just you guys don't want to go for a legendary, which I don't blame you. In episode 2 of the Legendary Guide, I explained how to farm gold and get tier 6 mats that you needed. And it was... It was amazing. It got nerfed the next day. Green Ant's always watching. I was devastated. But I didn't let that stop me. First, I started with the character I wanted to equip the legendary on, Matt Visual. Then I embarked in my long journey to map completion, which gives two gifts of exploration just in case you didn't know. Yeah. This was tedious, but it was doable. I mean, really, compared to all this you gotta do. <clears throat> The only problem I had with map completion was in World v World. Okay, you know what? You're, you're, talk no. you're talking too slow. It's you're, my you're turn, too man. Give me the mic. No. Give me the mic. No. Give me the mic. No. <clears throat> Anyways, the only problem I had with map completion was World v World. Because if your tower never owns a certain keep or a certain tower that you need, and you have everything else done, yeah, you will never get map completion. But thanks to my homies in the guild. We were able to push that last tower to get map completion. It took us all week to get this tower. Thanks to my guild, we pushed it over and over again. We tried so many ways. Stealth, we did so many strategies that we even claimed the tower at the end. Speaking of World v World, I needed 500 badges of honor for the gift of battle. Psh, easy. I did the jumping puzzle in World v World so much at launch that I... Pretty much the guild was dedicated to jumping puzzles at that point. Yeah, where are the butt faces that kept you from completing your jumping puzzle and getting your Arc Halcom ore? That's right, what you gonna do about it? Bloodstone Shard. Easy. All you have to do is get 200 skill points. I love whooping my sleep, homie. 250 Obsidian Shards. Also easy. Karma tends not to be a problem anymore. It's your sanity. <clears throat> I mean, I mean gold. Boom! Gift of Mastery. Ah, the gift of my 10 magic. Tier 6 Matt Hell. I bought them. I mean, I did try to farm them all separately, but that took ages so i farmed the best places that gave the most money plus dungeons and fractals and then bought the rest i needed which is what i did for most of these high tier materials for the metals i mined a lot you know you go to ore for ore <laughs> now we're getting serious mystic a clovers yes this was a thorn in my backside to put it lightly in very friendly words. Oh, Matt, do the 10 clover recipe. No, I rather not commit suicide because of a game. For those who saw my mystic clover adventure, you know how it went. It took me over 310 times. Boom, gift of fortune. The dungeon gift, the gift of Ascalon for me, which is Ascalon catacombs, catacombs catacomb easy because i did it before the all the dungeon fixes and nerfs and buffs and all that type of craziness and i heard that escalon is a lot harder now so good luck buddies i haven't even touched it since they changed the dungeons i, I was just like uh-uh i'm good they made it harder nah i'm good i'm good i'm just glad i don't have to do a raw explorable <laughs> now you need that dungeon gift for the gift of la la it's you oh Oh, I'm sorry guys, the gift of light. Everything else is fine, it's just those dang charged lodestones. It, and here, 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 let me tell you something. These do not drop for me. In the end, I had to buy them. Of course I did it the cheap way. Well, most people will say the smart way. I bought the charged cores and transmuted them to charged lodestones. You know, by, by using Alonian wine from, you know, Miyani. Wine? <laughs> sure, that would be 25 silver. Boom.
boom ba dum boom boom the gift of light double boom the gift of metal it's a bunch of metals triple boom the gift of sunrise and you rewarded a nice slice of portal cake all i have left is my precursor dawn with my luck with the mystic clovers me and the mystic forager are not talking right now you know, now, don't worry, we're not breaking up. This is where I got stuck for a few months. I got my hopes up with the precursor scavenger hunt, but that never came. So it was a slow grind to get enough gold. But finally, through the power of friendship, I got my dawn. The gift of mastery. The gift of fortune. The gift of sunrise. The gift of Don. I mean, Don. The precursor. Forges. Hold up, what? Forges. Sunrise. Finally. I want to thank everyone, my guild, for your support. The nice messages that I got from you guys with so much love. Thank you, trolls, for sending me one copper in the mail. That was. Great. This guy didn't want to get mentioned, but I'm gonna mention him anyway. Thank you, Frozen Dilemma, for helping me get over this hump that I was in for this past few months and helping me get my precursor. I need to thank my homie Nemesis. The guy has two legendaries already. He helped me from start to finish. Thanks a lot, man. I I love you. And don't tell my wife. Hey, who are you talking to like that? Also, before I let you go, let me tell you a fun fact about Twilight and Sunrise. Fun, fun facts, facts with Matt! With Matt. Sunrise does not count as a legendary. Huh? What? You mean I went through all that just for it not to count? <laughs> it's so funny! Eh, whatever. I, I have some bones to pick with that, but I love the sunrise. That's why I went for it because I like the way it looks. I mean, I mean, that's the whole point. It's, it's a cosmetic at the end of the day, isn't it? The real legendary is eternity, which you forge sunrise and twilight to make. But unless they make the precursor easier to get, there's no way I'm going for eternity. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I want it. But <laughs> I don't think I have the time to even put in for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, share with your friends, leave a comment, say what's up in the comment section below. And stay visual.